On the 12th of May, 1929, a baby boy was born in the Nuyoma family, one who would become an icon of the liberation struggle. He is the first born in a family of 11, and a mammoth task was ahead of him, something he probably was unaware of when he started looking after his parents' livestock. Nuyoma would years later become a fearless leader of the liberation movement Ovambo People's Organization, which transformed later. Along with others who took up arms, he became friends with the bush and navigated every danger in it. Gunshots became music to their ears as they kept hope. Namibia! Will be free! Namibia! Will be free! What ran through their veins was courage. It was evident that Nuyoma derived joy from the defeat of the enemy. When the enemy retired or attacked, this is precisely what we did. Over the years, he wore many hats, from negotiator to railway worker, father figure to salesman, and finally, commander in chief. Sam Nuyoma is undoubtedly um, the icon or the main icon of the Namibian struggle for freedom of independ uh, and independence. It is this fearless freedom fighter, the icon of the liberation struggle, the lover of the safari suits that people from all walks of life descended on Etunda to celebrate. <laughs> Speaker after speaker hailed the 94-year-old's unwavering contribution to the cause of Namibia's freedom and independence. Nioma has respect for tradition and cultural norms which built his character. That is needed by all Namibians in the whole country. He is exemplary and it is my wish that all would emulate his personality in terms of respect for our cultural norms. As a business fraternity, our appreciation is to the place that you have created for us and the conducive environment you have created for us. Utoni Nuyoma, a replica of his father, followed in his footsteps, continuing to fight Namibia's case. Today, he applauds his father's deeds. I should admit that our father carried his task admirably well. He has faced the trials and tribulation of parenting with truth, pride, and often grace. Almighty Karunga Kanamongo has blessed our father with a long life, good health, and not so many are fortunate to live to such a ripe age. The chairperson of the Sam Nuyoma Foundation's Nahasangula read the founding president's speech thanking all those who contributed to the hosting of his 94th birthday. He also highlighted the importance of the occasion. We are here to learn a lesson, a good lesson indeed, and that is lesson in leadership. A leadership with a vision and a mission. I urge the youth of today to study the history of Dr. Sam Yoma in order for them to learn about the leadership with a vision and a mission. President Hage Kengop's speech was read by Swapo veteran Pendukeni Ivula Itana. I thank you, Comrade Semi Nioma, 
for the distinctive and steadfast leadership you provided to the Namibian people. Your sacrifices and legacy are an inspiration to Namibians. Your achievements are cherished and your elegance is mesmerizingly timeless. When one follows historic material closely, one cannot help but notice that Nuyoma was probably one of the most smiling presidents. One of the few moments that Nuyoma closed his lips tightly was when South Africa's F.W. de Klerk read a congratulatory message during the swearing-in of Nuyoma following his victory in 1990. May Almighty God be with you and bless you. I thank you. However, he regained his trademark smile soon after. Samuel Sam Shafishuna Nuyoma, the icon of Namibia's liberation struggle.